Hey, welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to cover the third and final method to update the firmware on your Dynojet PowerVision 3. To do this, you're gonna need two things. Uh, one is the Dynojet PowerCore software, which as you may realize at this point, will only run on a Windows computer, not a Mac computer. Okay, so you're gonna to need to have PowerCore installed. If you do not have um, our Dynojet PowerCore software installed, you can simply go to dynojet.com uh, to support downloads. Left click on the PowerVision 3 image, scroll down, and here's where you'll be able to download and install. It's a pretty sizable file here. Um, so it will take a few minutes. And once it's download, downloaded and installed, um, you'll be able to update your firmware among many, many other uh, things that you can do with uh, PowerCore. So in the interest of time, I'm just gonna jump straight over here to PowerCore. The application launcher is what appears when you use the shortcut. Uh, today, we're gonna be uh, engaging the PowerVision 3 through the C3 software. So I'm gonna left click on that. Uh, across the top ribbon here, we're gonna to go to Tools, Firmware. You'll see that my device is recognized by the computer and by the C3 tuning application. This process will require that you have an internet connection to download the file from our server. You can also see that it says there is an update available, which is great. I'll just select auto update the device. It's going to do two things. It's going to download the file, put the device into boot mode, install the firmware, and then reboot the device and check to see if it's up to date. Looks like the device was successfully updated. It's rebooted. And we're all set. Update is complete. Update is successful. We can also verify here in the hardware manager that the PowerVision 3 is up to date. That's all there is to it. Thanks for tuning in.